Kuya Quattro. This video has a comfort rating of medium for moderate VR motion. Yo, Kuya Quattro, welcome to the behind the scenes and deleted scenes slash director's commentary for the music virtue Freaky Friday by V. Dot. In this music virtue, you'll see the virtue like play out, and then whenever there's like a deleted scene or a little interesting bit of uh, pre-production footage that I caught, I'll, I'll splice that in between each scene. Please enjoy. If you like this, be sure to subscribe, YouTube VR or DO VR, and favorite or like this video. All right, let's get into it. All right, so here's our establishing shot. We have a view of downtown Los Angeles, and we pull back to reveal the apartment loft. And I wanted to establish that, hey, you are in downtown apartment loft, cool city life, give you the idea that you are a character in this story, and you're around by a bunch of pretty girls who seem to know you, and you're in downtown Los Angeles, and in comes V Dot, the main star of the show. And now V Dot's looking for a bag of weed, but there's none, and she gets it from you. This is all to set up the line, put that loud ass weed up in the bag, and the, that and the fact that she gets it from you gives a little bit of interactivity, and she's happy you're there. Mm. Okay, so now we're having the girls move to positions to get ready for the next transition, which is the camera flash. And funny enough, I've had friends who watched an early cut of this. When they saw the camera come out, they instinctively did a pose. So if you put up a peace sign, you're not alone. All right, so our first BTS clip. This is a little meeting that I had with the girls to plan out what they're gonna be doing in the first scene. When we had the girls there, it was time to really see what actual blocking was gonna be like. Yeah, there we go. All right, and then uh, selfie, 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 selfie. All right, Monica, I think I'll have you like on the right. Then, uh, Monica, you'll be right here. Yeah, I'm in the middle oh, between, gotcha. between you guys. And then, um, yeah, exactly. And then, right. Boom. And we're back to the music video with the first match cut transition of the virtue. I'll talk more about match cuts later when we get to the back to back scene. But I want to point out that all the car riding scenes were a pretty big part of my vision for this virtue because I want people who've never been to LA to experience all these iconic locations and views like the palm trees, the buildings, beautiful weather, all seen out the top of a Jeep convertible. But to get these amazing views, we had to practice camera blocking and camera work as you see here in our last minute test shot in a parking garage. This was right before we left to go shoot all the driving scenes and I was actually pretty nervous about this part of the shoot because this is the first time any of us have been in the car and it all could have went to shit if things didn't go according to plan. This Jeep is just a rental because I needed a convertible that could fit everybody and we were really fortunate that this all worked out fine. Yeah, because the seat is so far back, like, kind of, yeah, kind of hug that area, and, yeah, like that, exactly. Right here. We were just about to get into it. We started in downtown, and then here we are, all the way out in Santa Monica Beach. And at each place, we're doing multiple passes, capturing different angles. And the funny thing is that throughout the shoot, the girls got more comfortable dancing to the song in the car. And by the time we get to Hollywood Boulevard here, they came up with their own little dance that you get to see in the next scene. Takes to make you 
Here we got a deleted scene that shows us walking into the venue, a bar called High Tide in downtown LA, and onto the dance floor where we're immediately welcomed by our big group of friends. The problem was that this section of the song before we cut to the next scene goes by really fast. So while the vibes are really cool, we ultimately use a different version where we're already on the dance floor so the viewer can get settled into this location a bit before we teleport to the next scene. So yeah, from the car we go directly to the dance floor and now we're surrounded by our beautiful crew before VDOT gives you a Kabadon wall slam that teleports you all around LA. And this series of match cuts is something I've always wanted to do because I theorized that match cuts would work beautifully for immersive since the main subject helps anchor your focus to one location and it helps keep your bearings to prevent cyber sickness. And to finally get to do it and seeing it turn out pretty good is validating to say the least. I'm real happy about the results. So here's a bit of BTS footage where we're practicing the choreography for the next scene because it has to be timed precisely to the music to land on the match cut. And the problem is, it's really loud at high tide, so we needed to run a few drills before heading over. And here's some outtakes. This was the first shot of scene nine. And yeah, this is all up and down Broadway Boulevard. Had to do multiple passes to make sure that we got some good footage, you know, the right camera angle, some decent lighting, because some places are darker than others, or sometimes you just got stuck in traffic and it, it's just boring that like we're just in one place, so. Here we say goodbye to the girls. We got super lucky finding this parking spot on a Saturday night in downtown. And here's a deleted scene where we show VDOT undoing her hair as we walk through the apartment hallway. But this scene just messed with the pacing, so I cut it. Yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good. And I love that we're bookending this experience by starting in the loft and ending there as well. And in between, we did a lot of cool shit, teleported around LA, danced with a bunch of pretty girls, and now we're on satin sheets. It's a whole fantasy compressed into a short music video, and I hope y'all enjoyed. And last but not least, some pre-production tests. So this is a test in high tide. And I wanted to get a test of how my CAF VR camera is in low light. And here you see it's really shitty. Um, it's cause like I had the ISO cranked all the way up because yeah, it's just shit in low light. Um, here I brought out my little pocket Momon that I attached a red gel to to see if that did any better. But because the ISO is so high up, um, it kind of blew out uh, her highlights. So not that great. But um, this proof of concept was also to see how it would be like to like have her dancing in front of me during the club scene. And yeah, I think it worked out well. So this was the day of the shoot and we're just waiting for all our friends to come through to play as extras. And this right here is my friend, Jess Roman, who's helping me out as she dances. I'm just doing like a low light test. I figured out like what are the best settings for the CAF VR camera. Um, which is just like a notch below like max ISO or never on auto ISO because auto ISO on the CAF camera pushes it to like a completely unusable level.
Lena V in the building. Yo, we out here. We got Carrie. We're, oh no, we're Carrie's inside. Yeah, yeah, Carrie's inside. We got Amani. Oh, hey, oh, this is easy. We got Annika. Hey. All right, all right, all right, all right. And here's the final shot of the night. Thank you for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you like this, please subscribe to my channel. And yeah, till the next one, stay immersed. Hey, let's pull off. No, I'm saying. <laughs> oh, shit. How do y'all feel? I'm happy and a little tired, but I'm happy. Yo, is the song on? Press play, press play, press play. Turn that bitch up. We can link up. Dark when I pull up. Hey. 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 Hey.